Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. Today is a very special episode of Jeremy's Kitchen because today we have a special guest. This young lady is celebrating her birthday, and she also happens to be my wife. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Jeremy's Kitchen, LaShonda Robinson Co. And welcome to Jeremy's Kitchen. I am LaShonda Robinson Carter. And yes, today is July 21st, 2021. And I am sir, selling my 36th birthday. Yeah. So what are you doing for your right now, honey? Okay, so right now I'm going to be making a three different types of cakes. They are going to be small cakes. They're going to be batches of 12. See, 12 times 3 is 36. So, yeah, I'm three dozen years old. Wow. All right. So, what's our first cake we're going to be making? So, the first cake is actually going to be a vanilla chai tea latte cake. Wow. Okay. So, this I have never tried before. I don't even know what it is. But <laughs> I was told that it was delicious and it's good for you. So, All right, then. Let's start with this one first. Well, go for it, honey. See, do what you got to do. All right. So I got this recipe at in Pinterest, if you want to take a look at it. And... All right, now... You know what? No. Wow, the end result is going to look pretty good. If this looks... All right. Well, without the cinnamon stick, we're going to re probably replace one of the oh. cinnamon sticks. Oh, understandable. Okay. All right, so what are you gonna? So when you're ready, go for it. We're All right. Ready. Right now, first we are going to do the spice mix. I don't really need because this is my spice mix right here. Mm. So we're gonna heat this bad boy up. We're gonna add a little bit of milk because it says add milk to it, and then we are going to start with the cake mix. All right. So first, eat this up. Take a nice soft pan, not too big, not too small. Put it on here. Turn it to about six. Shake before serving. Why is it important to shake that before serving? There's a lot of times that the um, particles of the flavor go down to the bottom. Ah. It separates. But shelf life, a lot of shelf life uh, products separate from each other. So we're going to pour a little bit in. Up to there. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about measuring just yet. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start adding milk. You can add any milk you want. But well, we're gonna go with Now we're just gonna let that simmer until the milk and the tea is combined together. All right. That nice flavor. Now, when it starts to heat up a little bit, you're gonna start to smell the spices. You're gonna start to smell the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the ginger, and the cardamom, and vanilla. This you go also pick up. Pick up at your local Walmart, Target, and Publix. Nice. So what are we doing now? Now I know it says one and three four cups of cake flour, but right now we just gonna use the regular flour. And as far as the spice mix, well, it's already in there. That's correct. And then the baking powder, baking soda, salt, and unsalted butter. All right. 
we have salt in it, but that's okay. Mm. And then make sure that the salt, the butter is at room temperature. And then we have three uh, large egg whites, uh, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, which is here, uh, sour cream or plain yogurt at room temperature. We have plain yogurt. Plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, ah, which is even better. Do you also need those eggs out at room temperature? Yes. So, I am going to be mixing that. Keep an eye out on this, especially if you're taking out other ingredients for your uh, cupcakes. So, it won't burn. Just keeping this back a little bit. For those of you who are actually using tea bags, make sure that you are bringing in milk to a boil or heat in the microwave for one to two minutes, pour over the bag and let it steep for 20 to 30 minutes. This is Thai milk, the milk you will use for the cupcake batter, show me that. This can be done during the day or before overnight. Make sure that the chai milk is at room temperature before adding to the cake batter. The reason why is because if you're adding eggs to it, you don't want the eggs to cook and become a fried egg cake batter. That's correct. So while we're going to let that steam and let that cook, we can start For the frosting, if you're gonna buy your own frosting, that's fine. You can buy it at a store. But for those of us who are uh, making our own frosting, you're gonna need the uh, one and a half cups of unsalted butter, um, the five to six cups of sugar, sugar, which is here. We got some more butter um, coming out. Uh, two uh, teaspoons of chai mix, which is over there. Uh, the heavy cream, one and one fourth, we have actually um, inside the fridge. We have whipping cream. And the pure vanilla extract, two tables, two teaspoons. Vanilla, pinch of salt, and the options of garnish, cinnamon sticks, mix of remaining chai spice, spice mix. Um, excuse me for interrupting, but did you say you needed confectioner sugar? Yes. Okay. This is actually flour, flour and that's regular sugar. Okay. We do have confectioner's sugar. It's in. Uh, yeah, I got that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. The confectioner's sugar is actually here. We got a lot of containers. Uh, <laughs> it's quite all right. Sorry about that. Ugh. There you go. All right, that started to boil. You can smell it. Actually, you're right, I can. Now, is it important to get this boiling first before you start anything else? Correct. And make sure this cools down. So, don't, if you have like a fried type of burner, don't put it at keep warm. Just put it on the side. All right, very good. Let 
that cool down. Eventually, it will evaporate, and then that's when we measure it. All right. Set it aside on your stove or on the counter. Make sure you use a coaster or you can just pop it up in the refrigerator. Mm. So right now we're just going to let that sit and we will be right back. 